Okay, I'm not exactly sure what happened. I think I may have accidentally uh, stopped recording, but yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what that was, but yeah, I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna continue on with the review here. Like, this is just gonna be like a, I guess a two-part review. All right, so anyway, continuing on. Yeah, then yeah, then the next match was like a, like a, going into the show, like a, there was like a, like, like, during this time, like, there was a tournament going on to, uh, crown a new, uh, ECW television champion, because, yeah, RVD had to, like, uh, forfeit the title due to injury, so, yeah, so, in the weeks leading to, uh, this, uh, event, they were, like, having a tournament, and to crown a new, uh, television champion, yeah, and, yeah, and the two semifinal matches were scheduled to be on the show, the first one was uh, supposed to be, um, Sandman versus Rhino, but, yeah, this match didn't happen, because at the very, uh, uh, beginning of the show, like, uh, Sandman's wife, uh, Lori Fullington, was, um, attacked by, um, um, the, uh, network, which, like, uh, was, featured, like, Steve Carino and Rhino himself, and, yeah, Rhino did, like, gore, uh, Sandman's wife through a table, yeah, and then, yeah, she ended up having to be, uh, taken to the hospital, and Sandman went with her, so, yeah, so, as a result of that, like, uh, Sandman was basically, like, had to, um, forfeit, uh, the, uh, match against Rhino, so, yeah, so, yeah, this, this match, that match didn't actually happen here, yeah, but, yeah, and then with Rhino advancing to the finals of the tournament, and yeah, the finals were also held on this uh, show as well. Yeah, but I'll get to that later. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, then in the uh, second uh, semifinal match, uh, uh, you had um, Super Crazy versus Little Guido, and uh, yeah, this was a pretty decent match right here. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I get to this, yeah, before this like these are semi-final matches then there was a, a tag team match between um supernova and chris chetty versus uh jado and uh gato oh oh i think that's how it said yeah and yeah and this really was like not really anything special either like uh yeah this really was just like a very a substandard uh tag team match Match, yeah, not really anything, uh, happened here, here, like, uh, yeah, this, like, after, this was, like, after the Mike Awesome, uh, Kid Cash match, yeah, after the match, like, uh, Jazz came in and was, like, checking on Kid Cash, and then, yeah, then, like, uh, Jado and, uh, uh, Jeddo, like, uh, came into the ring and attacked her, then, yeah, then Nova and Chris Chetty then made the save, and then it led to this match, and, yeah, and it went on once again, it was a very short match, it was only, like, seven minutes, not really anything happened, and then, yeah, then Nova and, uh, Chris Chetty, like, hit a tidal wave on, uh, Jetto, and they got the win, and so, yeah, so, uh, yeah, this, that really was not anything, uh, special either, so, yeah, so I give that, like, two stars, yeah, yeah, and then after this, then was the uh, super crazy little Guido match, yeah. And this actually was a pretty decent match here. Like, uh, it did go back and forth. Like, uh, it's pretty much like the same kind of match that, I, that I've that i already been talking about. Like, the stuff with, like, super crazy little Guido to Jerry, yeah. Like, like it was kind of like what I was, was talking about before in uh, the um, uh, Guilty as Charged overview, yeah. So, yeah, so it was basically, like, the same match that these guys had already had before, yeah. And then, yeah, then, uh, Big Sal, then, like, I uh, tried to interfere in the match, but eventually Super Crazy, like, uh, took him out, yeah. Then, yeah, then after a Super Crazy powerbombed, uh, little Guido onto a table, then, uh, Super Crazy then hit a, a springboard moonsault on, a uh, little Guido, and then was able to pin him. So, yeah, so Super Crazy got the win, and Super Crazy advanced to the finals against Rhino. So, yeah, so, that overall was a pretty decent match, definitely, like, the best thing on the show up to this point. So, yeah, so, I guess I would probably give that, like, um, I guess I'll go with three stars on that. Yeah, it was, like, solid enough. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah, then after this, then the next match we had, uh, Balls Mahoney versus, uh, Kintaro, uh, Kane Mura. I think that's how it's said. Yeah. And, uh, seriously, like, what was the point of this? This match only lasted, like, two minutes. And, yeah, it was just, uh, Balls Mahoney, like, uh, like, uh, 
going back and forth with Ken, with uh, Kenny Mira. He like got in like a Kenny Mira got in like a like a couple of uh, moves. Yeah, and then yeah, then Balls Mahoney hit a Nutcracker Suite on uh, Kenny Mira onto a steel chair and pinned him. Him, yeah. So yeah, so like, why is this match only two minutes? Like, why are the matches on the show so freaking short? I don't understand it. So uh, yeah. So that really like uh was just like kind of like a waste. So I would probably give that like a. I don't know. I I guess I'll just go with half a star on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Then after Balls Mahoney actually did uh get the win, then uh, uh Balls Mahoney then got attacked by uh the Baldies. Yeah. But then yeah, then New Jack then came out and made the save, and then yeah, then was attacking the Baldies, and then yeah, then like a match between uh Jack and uh. One of the members of the ball, these, uh, Vic Grimes, then took place, yeah? And, yeah, and this was just, like, uh, yeah, this really wasn't anything, uh, good either. Like, uh, it was just, like, the two guys, like, fighting with each other for, like, five minutes, yeah? It, like, spilled into the crowd, like, they were just, like, uh, fighting, like, uh, with, like, a whole bunch of weapons and stuff, yeah? And, yeah, then you kind of, like, did have, like, a scary kind of a ending here where, like, the two guys then were, like, uh, like climbed up like this like steel structure or in the crowd and then yeah then as they got to the top then like uh there was like a table like set up or something on the floor yeah then yeah then the two then ended up like falling off the structure i mean to go through the table but it, it wasn't like a a line cr properly or something or they missed the table or, or something yeah then yeah then they both like hit fell into the concrete and yeah it showed how like uh Vic Grimes actually like uh, landed on a new jack's head and apparently like this really gave like some really bad damage to a uh, new jack like uh he like suffered a forehead wound some brain damage a fractured skull and permanent blindness in his right eye so yeah so a pretty dangerous spot right there yeah yeah so yeah in a very scary moment especially for new jack yeah and then, yeah, then after that, like, the match just, like, ended, yeah. So, yeah, so I just really don't know, like, why they keep doing this stuff with New Jack. Because it does never actually does, like, actually really, like, uh, go anywhere with him. Like, it's not good stuff. So, yeah, so I don't know, like, why they keep doing this with uh, New Jack, yeah. So, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't, to me, like, it really doesn't really make sense to rate this, because this was really, like, more of a brawl than it was an actual match. Plus, yeah, I really just don't know, like, really how to really, like, rate it, especially, like, with that um, scary e ending. So, yeah, so I'm not really going to rate that, but, yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah. Then after this, then we had um, a three-way dance for the ECW Tag Team Titles. It was a... Uh, Raven and Mike Awesome. Yeah, Mike Awesome was also like the a tag team champion at this point, not just ECW World Champion. Yeah, yeah. Raven and Mike Awesome defending against uh, Tommy Dreamer and Masao Tanaka, and Lane Storm and Just Incredible. Yeah. And yeah, and this actually was pretty good. Like I thought that this really was like a nice paced. Like yeah, it did like a like it did have all three teams really going at it with each other. Yeah, it was like some nice action between the two yeah then yeah then after like a uh, masao tanaka hit a uh, roaring elbow on mike awesome then uh, mike awesome and raven were eliminated so then yeah then it was down to um uh just incredible and lane storm against a uh, um uh, masato tanaka and a uh, tommy dreamer yeah and yeah and it really did go back and forth between both teams like like it really did seem like a uh, one of the, like it would end up and at numerous points, like, you didn't really know who would win, yeah. yeah then when it looked like, uh, uh, Masao Tanaka and Tommy Dreamer were going to, uh, get the win, then eventually, then, uh, uh, Lance Storm and, uh, Justin Credible then hit a few double-team moves on a Tommy Dreamer, and then eventually hit the, uh, deep impact on Tommy Dreamer and pinned him, so yeah, so, Justin Incredible and Lance Storm won the tag team titles. Yeah, so, that was overall, like, a I guess that one was, like, good enough. Yeah, so I guess I would give it, like, a... I'd give it, like, a three stars, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Then we had the main event, the tournament final for the ECW World uh, Champ... The ECW Television Championship, sorry, not the World Championship, yeah. Tournament final for the ECW TV Championship with uh, Super Crazy versus Rhino. Yeah. 
And yeah, and overall this match was okay. Like, uh, yeah, like I said, like once again, it was a pretty short match. It was only like seven minutes, so not really anything memorable, but it was okay. Like, not really horrible. Like, uh, it did like go back and forth between both guys. Like, and then yeah, then it was the referee then got knocked out. Like, uh, out as a uh, rhino like pulled the referee in front of like super crazy's moonsault yeah then as super crazy was getting the upper hand then tajiri then interfered in the match and uh spit the green mist into um super crazy's eyes yeah then as rhino and tajiri were then like a uh, double teaming super crazy then you had rvd scotty anton and bill alfonso all coming out to help out um uh, super crazy yeah and then yeah then rvd like he was injured at this point yeah but he then like a uh, broke a crutch over rhino's back and then yeah then eventually rvd then drove rhino through a table and then yeah then super crazy hit a moonsault on rhino and then yeah super crazy then was able to pin rhino and win the ecw tv title yeah then yeah then afterwards and other members of the network then like uh came out and were attacking rvd anton on and a super crazy yeah but then yeah then yeah then you had the salmon then coming out and beating everyone like he like a uh, broke a a kendo stick like he actually like shattered it oh over uh rhino's head yeah and yeah then yeah then yeah then like a uh, salmon like uh cleared the ring of the network yeah then you just had like a uh, rvd sandman and uh scotty anton celebrating super crazy's title win with them yeah so yeah, so like I said, that was an okay match. Uh, match like not really anything good. Like it was pretty short and not really memorable. But yeah, it was like an okay match. Definitely like better than a lot of the other stuff that happened on the show. So yeah, so I guess I would probably give that like a two and a half stars. Yeah. So overall with the show, I guess I would give it a, a five out of ten. Yeah, because yeah, if this was really just like a straight up bad show, like a. Uh, like I said, the matches are all, like, really short, and a lot of them are pretty bad. Like, like I said, Texas Bull Rope match was awful. ECW title match, like, was just terrible. Terrible, yeah. And just, yeah, you had, like, just a lot of crap on this entire show. Like, a couple of uh, decent matches, but still, like, just a whole bunch of bad stuff really does overshadow it. So, yeah, so... I definitely do not recommend this pay-per-view. I think this is, like, so far the worst ECW pay-per-view. I am hoping, like I said, that this is not a sign of ECW going downhill and it getting worse from this point. I hope it isn't, like, a WCW in 2000 kind of thing. But, uh, yeah. Regardless, yeah, I do think that this is definitely so far the worst ECW pay-per-view. And, yeah, I don't recommend watching it. Even, like, if for the the stuff on here that is not so bad yeah i still say just skip the show yeah so yeah definitely not worth a watch all right so yeah so i guess that's the best way i can put it all right so i guess this is all i really have to say about it all right so yeah so this is it for my review of uh ecw living dangerously 2000 so i hope you guys enjoyed this review like i said i apologize for splitting this uh review into two parts but yeah just i accidentally turned the camera off but yeah hopefully it's still okay for you guys all right but yeah but i hope you guys did enjoy this review so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later